Hello everyone, in today's video we'll discuss how to convert scriptable controls from MathCAD 15 to MathCAD Prime. Let's dive into the steps to ensure a smooth conversion. In MathCAD Prime, the scripting interface has evolved. We'll show you how to update your scripts for compatibility. Let's take a look at this worksheet that contains scriptable controls. We want to convert it to MathCAD Prime. The first step is to open MathCAD Prime and perform the conversion. Now that the file is converted, let's take a look at the conversion log. We have a few issues, let's solve them. The first comment is about the display of this operator. This issue doesn't affect the calculation. Let's jump to the last comment. A radio button was added to the first button in the group. This comment relates to the design changes of the radio button functionality between MathCAD 15 and MathCAD Prime. Now let's open the MCDX file to resolve these issues. You can open the converted file from the converter. Right click the line with the converted file and select open converted file. Here is the converted worksheet. In MathCAD 15, the radio button appeared as multiple radio buttons with a single selection. In MathCAD Prime, the radio button appears as a single control with multiple selection. An image is created in the MathCAD Prime worksheet to indicate the position of the radio buttons in the legacy MathCAD worksheet. You can delete this image if you want to. Now, let's go to the second comment regarding the required changes in the script. First, make sure your control is activated. Sometimes, depending on your settings, it is not selected and click disable region to switch the selection. To ensure that your control will recalculate, let's go to the settings under the MathCAD symbol options and select run advanced control script on worksheet recalculate. Recalculate the control. It is recommended to recalculate or interact with each control after the conversion. We will make it a little bigger just to adjust the appearance of the control. Now let's open the script. Right click the control and click edit. Here is our converted script in VBScript. Some properties and methods from MathCAD 15 may be inactive in MathCAD Prime. The recalculate method for a radio button is one of those inactive methods. You can see that after the conversion process, the lines with this inactive property appear in the script, but they do not work or have any effect. For clarity and clean code, let's delete these lines. This is not mandatory because it has no effect on the way the script works. To finalize, click apply. For the complete list of inactive Active properties, methods, and events in advanced controls refer to the MathCAD Prime migration guide. In some cases, you would have to modify your script to accommodate specific workflows. Also notice that in this radio button, the values of the different selections are defined in the properties tab. It is possible to define them in the script editor as well, using the add button method, like you can see here. Click apply and close the dialog box. This radio button control is successfully converted. Importantly, this radio button example was scripted in VBScript. Please note that Microsoft Corporation had announced that VBScript will be deprecated in the future. We recommend converting your VBScript to JScript. Now let's examine another difference in the migration of scriptable controls. This time in the migration of JScript syntax. Now let's look at this slider control. Previously in MathCAD 15, the syntax or events was double colon. This was replaced with an underscore. If you use the double colon syntax in your legacy MathCAD worksheets, after the conversion, the script will interpret this symbol as an underscore and the script will continue to work. But it is still a good idea to replace the symbol used in the MathCAD legacy script with the current syntax. Also notice, the way we script inputs and outputs in advanced controls has changed. Let's change the value property to the one that is used in MathCAD Prime. You may need to make more specific changes in your script to recreate your logic. Now, this slider control is also fully converted. We now have both controls fully converted. Finally, let's clear the annotations. This is not mandatory, but it makes the worksheet look neat and ready to use. If you want to learn more, about using advanced scriptable controls in MathCAD Prime. Refer to the MathCAD documentation about advanced controls and the migration guide. Thanks for watching.